Well, an accused arsonist who kept residents on the Elmwood Village on edge overnight is in jail tonight. Good evening. I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Alice Demler. A West Side man is charged with setting fires to five garages all within the span of just a few hours. Our Dave McKinley has the latest on the arrest and his alleged path of destruction. Despite what you might think, firebugs are not a common species. Thankfully, it is a rare occurrence. Some of the fires didn't cause a lot of damage like this one behind a store on Elmwood near Auburn and this one on Cleveland near Elmwood. But just up the street, the damage was more severe, where a luxury sports car stands in ruins and where the fire moved from the garage to damage the home. On Penhurst near the Albright Knox, cars parked in this garage were also damaged. And then there was this place on Highland. Flames that had to be 20, 25 feet high. It was incredible. It was like totally engulfed. The two-story four-car garage shared by two homes is destroyed, along with its contents, including four vehicles, including Kurt Sida's BMW. It looks like it's totaled, unfortunately. The property damage was, you know, enormous. $800,000 all told from the five fires set within less than three hours of each other, allegedly by 20-year-old Nathan Wassel, whom police have now charged with criminal mischief, reckless endangerment, burglary, and counts of felony arson. Arson in the second degree was because of our two injured firefighters. Wassel is believed to be the one caught in this security video from a home not far from the more severe of the two Cleveland Avenue fires. And a source tells us police believe he went from place to place on a bicycle, stealing items from cars and then lighting them up. We believe he was in the process of burglarizing uh, these residents in these garages and may have started these fires just to cover up his tracks. He was eventually caught near a garage in the vicinity of Delaware Park. I actually have to credit the uh, Buffalo Police Department for that. Now, I mean, after the first couple of garage fires came in, they saturated the area. They had a number of cars, and uh, that's how they were able to apprehend them in the Middlesex area. Thank you to the Buffalo Fire Department and all the first responders. They were terrific. You know, it always could have been worse, and they prevented anything really, really bad from happening. Here's another thing about this string of fires, five of them over the course of less than three hours. During that time period, the Buffalo Fire Department found itself rather taxed in terms of manpower and equipment. They tell us they only had uh, seven engines and two aerial trucks left to cover the entire city. So obviously they're quite thankful that another major fire during that time period didn't break out. Wassel, by the way, was arraigned in Buffalo City Court this afternoon. He remains held without bail. On Elmwood Avenue, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Dave.